I want to do a quick video about the subwoofer crawl. Basically, what the subwoofer crawl is, it's when you have a single subwoofer, it's kind of a brilliant idea. What you do is you set the subwoofer in the seat where you're going to be sitting most of the time, and then you crawl around on the floor looking for the best possible response as you play content. The problem is it's a band-aid and created for a single subwoofer. I've never had to do it since I've been running this channel. I've been running dual subwoofers. Anytime I run a single, I'm like, turn it off. <laughs> it's not going to work. That's why I only review dual subwoofers that are matching. I've tried to mix and match. And you're not getting a true impression of that subwoofer. I consider that to be my job is to give you my impressions of how a subwoofer sounds and how it performs. I can't do that with a single subwoofer. It's quite frankly impossible physics wise. You have the standing wave effect and that's why you're doing the subwoofer crawl, trying to overcome those cancellations. The thing is, it doesn't matter. No matter where you are in the room, you're going to have those cancellations because it's just the way physics is. You get that standing wave effect. The frequency moves around as far as what's canceled out and what's accentuated. When you're crawling around the floor and you're playing some of your favorite content and your favorite content really hits in that one spot and you put the subwoofer there, that's great, but you're still missing other frequencies that are being canceled out because you're running a single. So if you find yourself wanting to do the subwoofer crawl, I get it, but you're going down the wrong road in the first place. You've already made the mistake of running a single sub. If you run dual matched deep bass subwoofers, that's the way to hear all of the bass. And it's not an audiophile thing. I have people listen to my system. I just had someone listen today and it wasn't what they expected. It never is. They could hear everything really clearly. They could hear all of the bass as deep as they could hear. And it was a different experience than what they anticipated. And that's the whole idea is to bring something completely different from the norm. And the way you do that is by running dual deep bass subwoofers in your room. And so my best advice on the subwoofer crawl is don't put yourself in a situation where you have to use it. I never have. I don't ever anticipate needing to. It's just something to avoid. It's a band-aid. It is a compromise. You are not going to get great bass response if you find yourself needing to do the subwoofer crawl. It's better than nothing. I'll give it that. And whoever thought of it, it's brilliant. It's a great way to at least deal with that problem. If you have to do it, cool. It'll be better than not. But the good response is only going to be in that seat. You move two seats over, one seat over, and the bass is different. It shifts throughout the room. Dual subs that are matching, that are deep bass, don't do that. Especially with the distance hack and things like that, it really makes it to where you hear all the bass and reduces as much of the cancellations as possible. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that helps and please subscribe.